Hello, this is Ashkan from New Apartme. We are a small independent game development studio and we want to provide to all global game jammers as a gift, a guide to create multiplayer games in your game jams. We will use joint offered game servers and Unity Park Suite as multiplayer game development backend and Unity and will provide all required utility scripts and materials in our website. So what is Unity Park Suite? Unity Park Suite is a multiplayer game development backend to create multiplayer games and MMOs in Unity. It can be used for turn-based and real-time multiplayer games and we will use Unity based servers in our uh, actual game development so we will create a game server code within Unity itself we have persistent with our database and we have load balancing, lobby, voice chat and custom data serialization and many other stuff which we will not use all of them but actually the Unity Park Suite is a state of the art MMO game development backend in this video, we will provide with the background information required for the development of the games and in subsequent videos, we will provide uh, how-to videos and create code for the actual game and we will create a small sample playable game to show you how to do, the, do it if you want. So what are the components of the Unipark Suite? It has lots of different components which we will not use all of them. It has UGameDB and React, it has Ulink, ULobby, Uzone, Ucollab, Upico, Uvoice and its community which includes you and me hopefully. So how is the architecture? Actually we will use Okay, actually we'll use Unity code for the client and for the server. We'll use React and UGameDB for our database backend. We'll use ULobby for login and server listing and we'll use Uzone to create game server instances if we, if we choose to. So there is game client and between game client and game servers we have the lobby which provides server listing and login and other stuff. And game servers also connect to our database, React database to have data storage and persistence. Upico is something uh, for load balancing of seamless huge worlds which is record breaking and had a great 1000 player FPS but will not use it here. So how we create game server logic actually we'll use Unity normal code Unity Park Suites Ulink is actually a uh, multiplayer game development API like the Unity is built in but much more powerful. It has RPCs which stand for remote procedure calls and it means you can call functions across machine boundaries client can call functions on the server and vice versa. And we have state syncing which means scripts can actually synchronize their states and variables with other machines. Clients can send their state to server and servers will actually can broadcast the state to all other interested parties. We have object handovers which means we can move game objects between game server 1 and 2 and serialize data between them and we can use all of the unit features including physics, pathfinding, collision detection, all of your AI code and even Unity's animation and even particle systems. However, most of the times on the server animation and particle systems aren't required. So how to code it? We'll first connect the client to the server and then can send our PCs back and forth. We can use custom serialization to tell Ulink to how to serialize a custom class, what properties should be serialized and what logic in a simple function. And we have UGameDB to simply store our game data on the server in our key value pair structure. And we can use ULobby for simple login and server listing. So we have some utility scripts to actually kick the projects and uh, start getting results fast. We have a smooth character to synchronize character movements smoothly between clients and servers. We have smooth rigid body for the same purpose but for rigid body objects and physics objects. We have chat scripts, we have connection scripts and server creation scripts, we have login GUI utility to create the game menu 
and we have server listing part we have scripts for shooting and some game samples and when wanna publish we'll use joint servers and react servers are already there you can just go there and tell i want a react machine and a react instance set up and running will be available for you and we'll use either windows or ubuntu servers if you use ubuntu then you need an x session and we can run our unity games in batch mode to actually uh, remove all of user its user interface and just run it uh, like a service or background process which is quite common for game servers so if you have any questions or require any support during the game jam and even a few days before it or after it we are available you can email us you can come to our website and, and then go to the ggj 2013 part and get the scripts and other stuff and uh, also it's required to go to much different website to download their ulink products so let's uh, finish this background information here and then you can just watch other videos to see how you should continue your journey toward multiplayer game development